shoes. Greetings to Screed Defenders. Tonight we are finally starting our test series on 115 grain 9 millimeter ammunition out of a short barrel. The short barrel in question is, of course, the Taurus GX4. Tonight's 115 grain 9 millimeter test subject is the Winchester Silver Tip. It's a standard pressure round. And here are the silver tips. These are these are definitely a unique color, and they've been giving the Pro Chrono some, uh, some issues. Well, today we're going to try to get some chronograph readings on the Winchester Silver Tips. The, uh, the list velocity on these 115 grain standard pressure 9 millimeter rounds is 1225 feet per second. Obviously, that's, uh, that's got to be out of a full-size gun. There's no way that you can get a standard pressure 9 millimeter round up to 1200 feet per second out of a compact barrel. This box is empty now, so I'm going to leave that stand next to the chronograph. We're having a lot of difficulty uh, getting chronograph readings on these on these bullets, and you can kind of see why. They are a unique color. At least the projectile portion is. All right. So load up the old GX4 with its three three and one sixteenth inch barrel. Switch on the Pro Chrono. Shoot from about five feet away. Try to center this up here. Ten eighty success. We got a reading. Let's try for another one. Ten seventy four. Ten seventy five. Ten eighty. Now that's consistent. Now that's all I had left in the box was those four rounds. But uh, let's review that. Boy, we had a high of 1,085, a low of 1,074, and an average of 1,079. But we had two 1,080s in there. So I think that's, <laughs> that's all the tests we need. This is an extraordinarily consistent round. And obviously... We will uh, we'll take a look at how it performs in the gel block next. Okay, so we have about a 17-inch column of gel from the very front here to the very back, just 17 inches. We have four layers of denim, four layers of 12-ounce denim, and we'll give those silver tips a penetration and expansion test. Hopefully we'll have room for two shots with those little 115 grain bullets, but at least we'll get one. Shooting from four feet away. And, ooh, good shot placement. Do we have a capture? We do have a capture. Now this is a fifth melt gel block. Not the clearest, but the bullet is definitely in there. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna start slicing up this gel and see where I find it. I'm gonna, Cut it right at the 13 inch mark, which is just about the middle of the second gel block, and see where the bullet is. My guess is it'll be just past the 13 inch mark. No, it is just short of the 13 inch mark. Very interesting. All right, so let's cut it at the 12 inch mark. 
<laughs> and see if that Winchester silver tip, that modern Winchester, lives up to its old reputation as an underpenetrator. No, it is just past the 12 inch mark. Now that is a nice looking bullet. It had no trouble with the uh, with the 12 ounce denim. And I'm gonna grab the calipers. And the expanded diameter on that silver tip is 0.54. On that pedal that's sticking way out, we've got a 0.669. <laughs> So that's going to be the maximum expanded diameter on that silver tip. All right. That has been our short barrel test of the all new Winchester silver tip, 115 grain defense JHP out of the Taurus GX4 with its three and one sixteenth inch barrel. Thanks folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.